Oh, week on Neo again today. I um, I think I had a loser right here. Long stopped out loser. I think I stopped out most of it and actually broke even and took a little profit there. Anyway, look, I tried to long it again because typically you get a pullback here. I don't know why I was long and man, the market was drooping down. It's under, look, it's a gap down. It's just been reversed. They have been reversed. That's what I thought this was going to be. They have been dropping down, maybe like this, a double bottom, pulling up, hanging out here for a while and then blasting up to the top and either blowing through it or failing and coming back down. So I like to try to get in here. So when they come up here, if they blow through it, I add. Or, or I'll take profit and then enter again if it blows through the top. That way, if it fails off, I can short it on the way back down. Anyway, I shorted it here and made some more money back. <clears throat> look, you can see it was flattening out. Let's see, what does this look like? It was flattening out. And, uh, well, I don't know what's going on. It doesn't look right here. But anyway, it was flattening out in here and looked like it was going to curl. Okay. After this pin bar. See these pin bars on the bottom? Looked like it was going to curl. So I got in. Right after I got in, you get this pin bar. But still, I hung in there. I thought, it looked like it's going to curl. I'm going to add some more at the bottom. So I added at the bottom. I only needed it to come up here below the, not even to 31. It was like, my average was like 97. It couldn't even make it up there. It made it almost to it. It might have flashed at it once, and that was it. So I closed it out and shorted it. And it drifted around, drifted around. So I, you can see I kept taking profit, kept taking profit, shorted it again, shorted it again, shorted it again. Uh, but anyway, you know, kind of weak, 221. I had another trade. PFE. I had a good trade in it right here. And, you know, I was working NEO so I, or something. I was working something else, so I just looked over. I just closed it out. I said, that's ah, probably going to stall here and fail back off. And then there it went. So then I longed it again here at another good trade. Closed it out, longed it again here. Thought it was going to fail, stopped it out. Longed it again here. And, oh, here's where I messed up. So I was trading NEO. I looked over here and I longed it. The problem is I took... 1,500 shares, <laughs> and I only wanted to take like 500. I, my deal was set wrong because I was trading another stock or something. So I took 1,500 shares, and then I look over, and I'm like, what the hell? I might I, That might even have been right here. I don't know, but I was down 1,000 bucks or 1,200. 1, it was flashing between 8 and 1,200, but it's going to go again. So I had to take it off here at even. I knew it was probably going to keep trending up. Look, it's doing it right now. Hell, I, I would have been up several hundred bucks right now, 1,500 shares. Look at this, because I was in at 57. I think I took it off. It kept having trouble here at 67, 68. Somebody was beating it up. And at 1,500 shares, I didn't want it to pull back, you know, drop down to 57, 25 again or whatever. So I had to take it off even. I was up in the damn thing. I was, look, I had several good trades in it. Oh, whatever. I made a mistake. I didn't look at my share size or I clicked the button. That's what I get for trading two stocks at a time. DAL, I tried to long it, added, kept adding off the VWAP here. It, I should have, you know, right? I added, then I doubled my size in here and it popped up to 20. I'm like, I should take some off there or close it out. I don't think this thing's going to do anything. Sure enough. <laughs> if I only listened to my gut, I shorted it here and got some of it back, but ended up down. I ended up slightly green for the day. It's kind of a rough day, just a chop day. It's, the whole week's been that way. It's kind of weak. But I got three green days. I mean, my focus is on not losing money. My focus is not on making money. My focus is on not losing money. That's how I keep myself under control. If I find that if I focus on not losing money, cutting them off quick, um, that I end up making more money. If I focus on making money, I'll start trading my P&L and it'll kill me. Like on PFE. Look, 
1,500 shares, 58, 68, 78, 88. So I'd have been up $400, $450, probably going on $500 here when I get 50 cents. I would have been up 300 to 304, three to 400 dollars. When it hits the 58 mark, so that would make it about 400 dollars. Actually, you know, I make it 550. Anyway, I can't hold. I can't hold on. Like I said, I'm focusing on not losing money. So I had to take it off here at even because I had made a mistake, took too many shares. I guess I could have took off, you know, half or three quarters, but then when it dropped back down here, I would have been down several hundred dollars. I'd rather finish a slate green day than a slate red day, just for mental purposes. There it is, 90, pull back. <laughs> it's on a slow trend. But anyway, I still feel like I did the right thing.